Yo, Dr. Mike here for Renaissance Periodization. Weekly tip number two. Just a tiny little tip for you guys to get a little bit more out of your exercise, out of your nutrition, out of your recovery. Elbows forward on bicep curls. That's an interesting tip. What the hell do I mean by that? You can do curls with free weights, machines, dumbbells, cables, whatever you want, and they're all super effective. You can do them in many, many ways. Here's a cool way to try that might actually help you, especially form a better mind-muscle connection with your biceps, which I really often struggle with, and might actually help with hypertrophy as well. As you reach the top of a curl, what I want you to try practicing is even if the bicep is stopping you, there's nowhere to go, squeezing your form into your bicep pretty fucking hard, almost as hard as you can. And a lot of times, if you're here, it doesn't feel like you get a lot of squeeze. So as you're curling, instead of staying here with your elbows down, bring your elbows up and squeeze up here. If you do that, your bicep actually has a few functions. One of them is to move the shoulder up this way, similar to the front delt. So when people say like, oh, you're using delts as cheating, it's not cheating, it actually uses your bicep. And because it shortens the bicep significantly more, it can get you a crazy peak contraction. Once you've done about a second of squeezing at the top of rep, you slowly keep that squeeze and undo it just enough to let the weight slowly pull you down. And then you come up again and squeeze really hard, elbows forward and come down, let the elbows arc back down. This can increase your mind-muscle connection, burn the living shit out of your biceps, and can potentially get you slightly better results. Give it a try. Let me know what you think. If you hate it, comment. If you love it, comment. Subscribe, like, do whatever YouTube stuff either way. See you next week with another tip.